Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be playing a grand challenge. I'm currently at 7 wins and 2 unfortunate losses. Got some losses early on. But we're playing with Thruper No Expo Cycle. Going for 12 wins today. Let's get right into the matches and hope we can get a good video. So, I did lose to Elixir Golem. I got 3 crown because I think I was a bit too aggressive. I also lost to E-Giant, I believe. I, it was actually a while ago, so um, I don't exactly remember. But I'm pretty sure it was E-Giant. So, give my opponent the good luck back. Found our first game here. And I am pretty tired. Um because today was honestly a pretty tiring day of class, uh, just a lot, and I'm hoping I can still play okay, because, uh, yeah, already at two losses, kind of tight here, but we do see minions, which means, okay, minions battle ram, that is actually a perfect sign, because this is probably gonna be P.E.K.K.A. bridge bam with minions, in which case I feel pretty bad for my opponent, because this is essentially, uh, extreme hard counter in my favor, pretty good, good bandit on his end to try and snipe the Tesla, but, Execution didn't really work out, uh, so Ben also just kind of gets taken care of. Gonna split archers again, and I think I can be pretty aggressive in this matchup, because I don't even have to worry about a magic archer uh, getting any tower damage. Like, as long as I don't mess up any defense, you know, overcommitting or anything, there's absolutely no chance I should lose this, because they don't really have any great way to get tower damage if you just defend well. And I'm actually just gonna fireball the E-Wiz, because I don't even need to fireball a magic archer in this situation, because he does have the minions again. So, I definitely think minions... They One thing to note about minions, he goes P.E.K.K.A. the back... I think I'm going to go in because I think that's the right play, but I'm a bit worried. Let's see if he tries to punish somehow. I'm going to hover skeletons for maybe a bandit. Actually, I think I'm just going to let this go and then Tesla the middle. I think it's safer. I'll Ice Spirit for the minions, and that's on tower, so that's a decent expo lock. And then skeletons should take care of the uh, ram and Tesla. Sorry, again, it is pretty late right now and a bit tired. But uh, yeah, just going to go knight as well. This should be okay. I mean, it's looking kind of tight. But I'll go Archers too. He's probably going to Bandit at the bridge if I had to guess. Or it, I don't know if he's back, but he should be because, I mean, I'm pretty low on Elixir. My cycle's pretty bad, but we did get a really nice early lead. He's down to below 2,000 HP right now. Yeah, there's the Bandit. I'm actually going to have to kind of let that go. Um, I'm going to log cycle back to my Ice Bird. He goes for a Prediction Zap. I guess he thought I would have Skeletons. Didn't even have Skeletons in Cycle, so I think that was the best case scenario I could have done. You know, log low, cycle back to my Ice Spirit, and then take it out. He d did do a pretty good job of punishing because I had a pretty bad cycle there, but I think I'm just going to Expo right now, honestly, because. He did spend quite a lot. Um, he goes ram the back, which is actually a pretty good play. And Pekka, I feel like that definitely could have been higher up, because now the ram is just going to kind of die to my Tesla plus uh, my tower, and just pretty easy defense, all, all things considered. I don't really have to worry. Whereas if you went Pekka in front, it would have been a lot more stressful to defend, I feel like. Um, he does zap, which means the Tesla retargets onto the bandit. And he does go for a ram as well. I think I actually want a knight instead of uh, Tesla. And he goes for a poison. I'm going to go expo. This might be pretty aggressive because I took a lot of damage, but he should be kind of low on Elixir after that. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough for the P.E.K.K.A., so I'm going to Fireball, hoping to hit the Bandit, and I do. Oh my god, I don't. Wow, that's actually really unfortunate. I am not playing this 100% right now, but uh, basically, I was hoping to Fireball late enough to the point where I would be able to hit the Bandit after it's dashed. Obviously, that's a bit tight of a timing to get, and obviously I did not get it off, so that's a bit unfortunate, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, we're still in this game, and I think I do want to switch lanes. I think I don't really want to go same lane. I mean, if I do, then I'll just be pushing into him constantly, and I don't really like that, so I think switching lanes is the better option here. There's the Ewiz. I'm going to go Skeletons too for the Bandit, and he does Zap predict, but thankfully for me, it was a bit uh, early, so that's just going to be a really nice lock. going to protect this for quite a while, because I do need to get this damage right now. And he goes for a ram. I feel like that was really aggressive, actually. I, I don't think he's very... Actually, I have, do have to defend, sadly. I was going to go in to try and punish that, but yeah, I definitely have to defend this. He's going all in right now uh, with the offense, so I'm going to protect my archers as well. I think I have to Ice Spirit too, just to be safe, and I can take some chip in the left if I even take any. That was actually a pretty decent defense overall. And I'm actually going to reset with a Tesla as opposed to going in, because I don't have the best cycle. I'd rather play it safe, and I'm up right now, so there's no real need to be super aggressive. He's poison cycling out of that. Speaking of super aggressive, that is super aggressive, especially with those minions. Like, I feel like he is probably not able to afford a P.E.K.K.A. right now. I'm going to log everything, um, and this should probably be a lock if I defend this expo well enough. And yeah, and he just went E was plus zap, so he has no way of resetting this. Uh, at least I'm fairly certain he went zap, so yeah, that's going to be GG's. Really nice win against P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam. Pretty easy matchup, like I was saying at the start. There's pretty much no world in which I should lose that because he has minions, not even Magic Archer. Magic Archer is a bit more annoying because it is still a really good matchup for Expo, but they can get tower damage on you um, with the Magic Archer, or they can snipe your Tesla, stuff like that. Whereas minions, they are better at pressure, like you have to overcommit to minions on an Expo, but otherwise they're really easy to defend. Anyways, into our next match against a Japanese player, he, he gives a good luck back and a split skeletons. Log goes for a Miner, so don't really like to see Miner, honestly. This could be Mortar Miner, this could be Giant 
Worst case scenario, this would be Giant Miner. Double Prince, gonna go for an Expo opposite to the Queen, I think it's probably Mortar. Mortar is fairly common right now, yeah, it goes Valk as well, so... I mean, Mortar is just a very strong deck right now in general, so... It's a bit annoying, but this should be a pretty decent situation, because Expo will target the Queen, I can log the Queen back, and then Expo should be able to get a small lock on Tower, and he does get Goblins down, so that's actually kind of well played. Um, but I feel like he's really low on Elixir, so I could maybe split Archers and then go in right after this, because I feel like he's definitely down on Elixir. Those Goblins were smart to prevent tower damage, but they do mean that he's going to be low on Elixir. And Mortar, if you guys didn't know, you really want to win this matchup in single, because this is a pretty tough matchup. They have really good defense for your Expos. He goes Minor on the Archer, I think. I'm definitely going to go in right here. And Knight to predict the Queen, just, I feel like he's low on Elixir, might just Queen in front does go for a mortar low kind of smarter but if he goes queen i'll fireball if he goes valk i think it's probably best to not fireball because uh probably a bit too much of an overcommit. but gonna go skellies to cut the valk over and then log and this should be a lock and he's gonna be expecting this log okay he does actually catch it with the ice spirit but gonna ice spirit myself he goes queen i'm actually gonna go archers this might be a mistake because this is very aggressive but i do want to maintain this lock and i can't afford a knight for the queen after it crosses so i think that was probably worth it i mean i took a lot of damage but still i feel like it's probably for the best. I mean, I do need early damage lead in this matchup, ideally, and I think I kind of got it off. I'm probably going to expo again because of those goblins. Like, I guess it makes sense he was kind of cautious of uh, taking any uh, knight damage, but I don't think it was going to be that bad. So I'm going to expo right now. He should be kind of low, and again, he's not back to his queen, so his cycle is a bit weird right now as well. He does have a Valk, and Valk is kind of annoying. He's going Valk. Oh, he actually goes Valk opposite lane. I feel like he's going to Queen, so I'm actually going to go Ice Spirit to maybe predict that. Yeah, he does. Okay, can I get the Knight down in time? And no, I don't, sadly. So Knight was too far out of cycle, unfortunately, but at least I can force the Queen ability out. Or he's just going to let it die. Even worse for him. He should definitely have an ability there. I'm going to go in once more, and then this should be a pretty decent opportunity. There are the Goblins. And I'm probably going to try and get, yeah, Fireball value on the Mortar. Because worst case, even if I don't get an Expo connection, at least I'm getting some Fireball chip. So I'm going to Ice Spirit and log the Queen. Just keep the expo dpsing it down if i can and i do take the queen out which is really huge because now i don't even have to worry about queen on offense no counter push whatsoever gonna keep the pressure up this is a matchup where you have to keep pressuring i feel like so yeah gonna archers dps down the valk and he hasn't actually played any spells like on my expo which i think he should definitely be doing more like poison most m mortar decks right now he has a fireball and he misses the expo that is a very big mistake and that actually might cost him the game i'm gonna archers too and that should yeah be a lock for sure so yeah, this is just not looking great for my opponent here. I think he's maybe panicking a bit. That miss fireball was huge, and Archer's got some chip too, which just lets happen, so maybe he gave up. Yeah, I think he gave up, so that's going to be GG's. Really, really nice win against Mortar. Don't really like this matchup, to be honest, but it actually is better for me that he had a fireball, because Poison is better against Expo overall. Um, also better for getting tower damage, of course. Fireball is not too bad. You can also use defensive Expos more effectively against a fireball deck. So yeah, that is honestly... Not too bad. 9 and 3 now, so 3 wins away from the 12 win. Let's try and get it done. Fender game against Boga. Give him the good luck. And yeah, I'm kind of just, you know, I, as I said, I'm pretty tired right now. I'm still trying my best to commentate well and play well as well, but uh, you can probably tell that, uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but I think that's okay. I am definitely trying to make some positive changes to my content. Like, I want to probably spend more time on things that matter like uh you know making sure i upload really high quality content and not forcing myself to daily upload if that means that it won't really be the best type of content that i can put out i guess i've been thinking about stuff like that anyways he does go for a baby dragon lightning on my expo we're just gonna go for an ice spirit to get even more of an expo lock and he had a golden knight so i think this might be golem lightning i don't really see baby dragon in uh e giant these days and that's a bad sign because i'd much rather go into electro giant than golem uh golem is not a good sign but he has tombstone I just hope he doesn't have a Night Witch, then that'll be at least be fine, because I have an Ice Spirit. I do love Ice Spirit, but the one matchup where you would really love an Electro Spirit, uh, probably the most, is Golem Night Witch. Uh, or Golem Clone, actually. Clone is probably even better, but... I mean, Night Witch is obviously a pretty annoying card if you have an Ice Spirit. We're going to split Archers again. Let's see if he does anything. I would like to ideally get a lock in single. He's not doing anything, which is kind of smart. I'm going to pressure with an Ice Spirit in front of this Archer. And then Expo, let's hope he plays something on that Ice Spirit side. Does NATO, which means he actually doesn't have enough for a Golem right now. Yeah, as you can see, he had to go Gold Knight because I caught his NATO, so that was actually really nice. If he goes Dash, I can go Archers. Don't want to Archers before he dashes because obviously that'll just uh, be taken out by the Dash. And he does just let this go. Going to Archers to predict. Okay, he goes Lightning late. I think that was kind of a good play because anything else would have just fed into my Knight Archers, but... I do get some archer's ship. I'm actually going to go Ice Spirit Skeletons to pressure at the bridge. I think he has a Barbarrel in here, so this might not be that smart. 
Um, we do actually force up the tombstone. I'm actually going to expo. This might be real aggressive, but I feel like he doesn't have enough for a golem right now. And I really just want to get a lock. Yeah, I think I was right. So if we get a lock here, that's going to be huge. And we do. Okay, so I'm actually going to fireball. This is kind of controversial. I mean, this is a huge overcommitment. But we did get a huge connection in turn. So I feel like that was probably fine. Yeah, he got golems in the back. I'm down about two, but... I do like this damage lead quite a lot, and I'm probably going to have to try and defend now, because, I mean, I can't really go in when he's going golem at the same time. I don't think this is spell cycle range at all yet, either. He has a gold knight, too, which is actually a pain, because I'm used to stacking archers against golem, and usually does pretty well, but obviously gold knight just invalidates that, so gold knight is a huge pain. Does lightning pretty well played, because that does actually take out... Uh, my archers too. Gold Knight Dash comes down, but that's fine. Gonna Tesla. And this should actually be an okay defense. I mean, NATO comes down, but I'm gonna knight far away from my archers so the E Drag doesn't hit any of them. Just wanna protect my archers here. And I think I defended that okay. I mean, it's looking okay. Yeah, we're fine. And if he golems again, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna defensive expo actually, because I think I kind of have to. I mean, he does, doesn't seem to have a big... Actually, he does have a big spell. What am I talking about? He has a lightning. But uh, I am kind of in full defense mode because I don't think it's going to be worth it to go for uh, Expo in the right. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's just how I kind of feel. Going to Tesla all the way up here, try and snipe the E-Drag. Gold Knight Dash is... Well, that's going to be a pain. This is what I was talking about. I really don't like this card, but going to go for Knight as well because he might lightning or something. And yeah, this is getting a bit dicey he does tombstone i'm actually going to fireball the tombstone because we are getting slightly into spell cycle range now there's the golem again i mean in triple i feel like i can spell cycle him but right now i probably just have to chill out this is i really don't want to choke this right now but we should be good i think so there's the baby dragon um and he's definitely going to lightning and i can't stack archers actually i have to try i think i have to try and defend this without the archers at least until gold knight dash is uh, taken care of because i mean obviously they'll just die Gonna get back to a second Tesla though. Ice bait for this baby dragon and then knight off to the side. And I hope I defended that fine. Um, Gold Knight is still being a bit of a pain right now. And he's resetting. He, Gold Knight also dashes onto tower, man. That's annoying. I'm actually. I just realized I should probably just spell cycle him out at this point because that's a fireball. Uh, two fireballs and a log, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, it took me a while to realize that, but yeah, I should definitely just go for this. Well, so that's going to be a good game. Against definitely a hard counter. He had Golem Lightning with the Golden Knight, and it was, it was just quite bad, but I was able to get a really nice lock, and I guess that fireball and the Baby Dragon was able to maximize my connection. Um, he didn't have a Night Witch in there, which is actually really clutch, because if he did, then obviously Electro Spirit would have been much more useful, but... Ice Spirit was actually pretty nice here because he did not really have any bats for me to worry about. So honestly, not too bad. Found our next game against a Japanese player and you're gonna give him the good luck. Two wins off the 12 in right now, so let's try your best. Ice Spirit the bridge just to apply pressure. I feel like Ice Spirit the bridge is probably the best starting play, safest. He actually goes minor. We're going against a lot of minor right now. I think I played a minor a few times earlier too. Minor's actually... Okay, Minor Musketeer. This could be Balloon. I really hope it isn't, because Balloon Cycle is kind of a tough matchup for Expo. Um, but Minor Musketeer, I don't think it's going to be Mortar with the Musketeer. I mean, I hope it is. Okay, Ice Spirit. Yeah, I think it... Wait, actually... Oh, yeah, it is Mortar. Okay, I have to go Split Archers. That was kind of awkward for me, actually, but I think I have to Tesla, too. I have to overcommit quite a lot, and that is not ideal. So, I think it's actually going to be... Wow. Minor Mortar with the Musketeer. So, I guess he has a Skeleton King, because... Otherwise, why would he have a Musketeer? Like, Queen is just a better Musketeer in every single way, so... And this is kind of an old meta deck. Um, I mean, this deck was pretty popular, you guys might remember, from a while ago. I don't know exactly when, but at least a few months ago. Definitely last year, sometime. Guards 2? Okay. I don't know if he has a Skelly King, actually, because if he did have a Skeleton King, he would probably have a uh, Skarmy or a Tombstone. Actually, no, Tombstone wouldn't make sense in Motor Deck. He goes Defensive Motor. That's really annoying. I'm just going to Fireball it. Um, and I think I'm definitely going to go opposite lane, so actually I'm fine with that. Like, he did do the anti-fireball placement for the right side, but it doesn't really matter. And he's actually logging the left, which is actually really smart, because the best thing the motor players should do is go same lane as you. He actually kind of knows what he's doing. I'm going to go in right now, though, because he just went musky the back. This should be a pretty decent opportunity. Let's see. He does have a Valk. Okay, going to go Knight, and he probably has to spell this out. If he goes something else, I think I can defend it fine. If he tries to minor, I think it's not really going to work out that well. Going to log on the mortar plus the musky. Okay, actually completely missed the musketeer. Oops. We're going to skeletons for the musky, and then this should actually be a lock. Oh, nice. And also the... Okay, he goes guards. I'm going to have to let that go because I do want to take the guards out. But also the mortar didn't even get another shot, which is really clutch. So he has a Valk. I'm actually really surprised. Like, he does musketeer, which is... A very welcome sign. We don't have to worry about a three-card cycle in this game, and that's going to be a huge help, because three-card cycle is a huge advantage. Actually going to fireball the Valk. That might be a bit aggressive, but I do want to get tower damage, so... 
that's just kind of why I did that. You're just going to log, and then he goes for the miner, probably in the back, yeah, because Valk's in the front. So if they go miner the back, it usually means uh, the knight will walk backwards and the Valk could splash. But anyway, he's going to go for Expo right now. Archer's up high, I have to protect against the mortar, and I just can't allow him. You have to play this matchup pretty aggressively, I think. So going to log uh, Ice Spirit and Skeletons for the musky. have to retarget it and actually didn't even work out that well. But I definitely have to be aggressive in this matchup, I feel like. And I cannot really go same lane because he does have the poison in there. So he goes for a minor again in the back. Yep. Okay, that's actually really bad. Wow, Knight gets pulled backwards. So I... This is looking kind of tight. I'm going to Ice Spirit too. I'm actually taking a lot of damage right now. Oh no. Um, I'm actually going to Defensive Expo the Mortar because... I think Fireball wouldn't be that good. I definitely have to take the Mortar out, and Defense Flexible at least sets me up for some kind of advantage. I hope I didn't choke this, but I'm going to Fireball as well. Uh, Knight actually might get one hit. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Going to Knight the back, maybe predict some kind of Miner. He does Miner, okay, in the corner. So I'm going to go Ice Spirit 2, and let's see if he poisons. If he does, I'll definitely go in. He does go with a Defensive Mortar instead, so he actually really knows what he's doing. Like, he's playing this really well, and that's not really a good sign for me. Anyways, I'm going to go in right now, though, because I really have to get something going right here. Um, gonna fireball the Valk, and he is going for the poison, so I'm gonna have to get a lock, like, there's no way I'm gonna spell cycle in the left, I don't think that's any kind of option right here. So, I'm gonna log the Valk back to, maybe I can get a small lock, and we do get a tiny connection, not bad. Gonna go skeletons as well, we're actually getting a pretty good connection in the right, actually a lot of damage, but I do have to defend this mortar right now. So, he poisons too. Um, I'm going to have to Tesla because my archers are about to die and they're the only things tanking for that mortar. I might have actually just lost. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm going to go Skeletons. I think I... Okay, yeah, that's going to be GG. Yeah, that's tough. Um, unfortunately, that is just going to be a loss. I am not really sure if I should post this right now, actually, because normally I don't really lose the GCs. But uh, yeah, I don't think I played that very well. I think I took a lot of unnecessary chip. I guess I could analyze this game and take a look. Um, because 10 wins, I mean, 10 wins isn't that bad. I actually did beat uh, Golem Lightning, which was a really hard counter as well. But, yeah, I don't really like to post uh, if I didn't get the 12 win. Um, I guess first time for everything. I might, because honestly, I'm really tired. I don't really want to record again. Um, but I guess I could also analyze the replay. The, this loss against Eagolem, I could analyze my losses, I guess. Um, this one, I don't really feel too bad about, because that is just a really tough matchup. E-Giant, yeah, the replay is actually gone. I think there was some kind of maintenance. Um, but I lost that really early on. Like, I wasn't even playing bad. It was just a really tough matchup. This one, okay, I guess I'll go over both of my losses to end the video. This is kind of, you know, not really structured. I'm just kind of recording. But, uh, yeah, into our first analysis game against this Eagle and player. And I actually think I lost in, like, the first minute or so. So that was not very ideal. But Ice Spirit starting out, you know, starting play is pretty standard. You're going to speed this up a little bit. And I think the main issue here was I went Expo when he went Eagle in the back. Yeah, he did. And I went Expo. And normally, you know, I've split archers. I should be fine because one archer is going to the Eagle, but I think it was actually bad because I think what my opponent did here was he kind of ignored my entire Expo. Um, or, and actually, no, I think he went Skeleton King on it. So let, let's take a look. So Night Witch behind, and this is where it gets bad because, as I said, Night Witch is pretty annoying for this deck. I mean... You need Fireball for it, pretty much, because Ice Spirit does not do the trick against Bats, like, at all. And here I go, Knight for the Skelly King. I think that was a mistake, actually. Yeah, that Knight was definitely a mistake, because I wanted to keep this lock, but there was no value in that, because I was actually going to lose my tower to this push. So, also, because these minions, like, Knight didn't do anything against the minions. So, I think what I wanted to do instead was... Uh, Play a knight next to my Tesla, maybe defend this push, and then fireball on the Skelly King plus minions, because what I ended up doing was I think I still ended up having to fireball. You had to fireball this, because I didn't really defend it that well, and then I just died to the minions, because, like, the minions, as I said, are pretty annoying if you don't have a great response. In the P.E.K.K.A. game, like I was talking about, because they do a lot of damage right now, and I just lost already, so... I think it was really, maybe that expo wasn't that bad of a play, but it was really just the knight, because I was a bit too aggressive. I was kind of tilted right here, actually. I was a bit upset, but but I think it was definitely on me. Granted, you know, just ignoring all damage and going eagle on the back is kind of an annoying playstyle, but it is a playstyle that exists, so you have to know how to play against it. So yeah, that's kind of tough, but that was how I lost um, to eagle, so I guess lesson learned. If you want to be super safe, uh, I... He didn't even have any arrows, so that actually probably wouldn't have been that bad of a matchup. He does a minor too. That's so weird. Like this is a really weird eagle on deck. But I think I definitely, if I wanted to avoid that interaction entirely, I could have not gone expo. But if I did go expo, I should have been completely prepared to let the expo go and focus on defense, which I usually do advise you guys in my videos too. I think I was just, you know, wanting to get the lock and then just kind of miscalculated. But uh, I also had a really nice game against Golem Pump. 
Um, and these two games were really nice, actually. But let's just take a look at this final loss to analyze and end the video. So again, kind of an unconventional video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this one because I'm really thinking about the type of content I want to post. I still want to post, you know, top ladder, grand challenges and stuff. But uh, just today, I'm, I do want to get a video out, but I'm really tired. Probably going to sleep pretty soon. So yeah. Anyways, into this replay. So we do see the miner coming down. Um, and I do just night, I think... He goes musky, and at this point I was thinking that it's not actually Mortar, because you never see Musketeer and Mortar these days unless they have the Skeleton King, which means they can't run two champions, because the Queen is just one of the best cards in the entire game right now. So, I was pretty surprised, but I mean, props to my opponent, because that's actually, you know, pretty impressive. And right here, I do unfortunately have to overcommit to the Mortar, because I did pre-cycle a log. If I didn't, then I probably could have been able to defend that uh, without having it look so messy, but as you can see, I'm just down a lot of Elixir right now. Uh, still, I think it's worth it to Ice Spirit Skeletons this next miner because uh, it's a positive trade and I'm just cycling, so definitely worth it. But yeah, honestly, there weren't anything. Uh, there wasn't anything too major to analyze right here. I think I just want to take a look at where I went wrong. Fireballing the mortar is definitely fine, because that's just annoying, and he actually knows what he's doing, because this is how I would play this match if I was him. I would literally just turtle, spam defensive mortars, and then go, like, minor poison on the expo, uh, and go same lane as well. That's a really good thing that he did, as, if, as you guys can see. Um, he cycled a log, even though I had the damage in the... He had damage in the right. He knew that I was going in the left, so he knew that... I would want to go there, and he knows that for Mortar, it's good to go same lane. For Expo in this matchup, you want to go opposite lane, so he just he just knows what he's doing. I'll actually take a look at his profile, because I think he definitely played this one pretty well. Um, but yeah, Valk, and then he does just not go for a poison, which I think would have been uh, more critical, I guess. I try and get a nice log off, actually just barely missed the muskie, but this was still a really good play on my end. As you can see, he didn't have anything to really... Uh, punish this. This is a really good expo connection. I think he should probably should have just gone poison there. Really, really nice stuff, and this was a really great lead to go off of, so I am a bit upset that I choked this loss, but we, I, I do want to learn from my mistakes, and I actually have not spent a lot of time recently, you know, watching my own replays. I used to do that a lot when I was trying to improve, but recently I don't really do it very often. This fireball is maybe also a bit aggressive, actually. I don't think it was that smart, necessarily, because, um, yeah, I, I just don't really think it was that great. Uh, I mean, I wanted the damage, but at the same time, like, I was forced to kind of overcommit here, and he got a lot of chip, and he just goes defensive mortar. I feel like maybe fireballs are a bit, uh, momentum killing in this game, and I think I went for a pretty bad fireball, too. Here, I try and commit to this expo, but I probably should just let it go as well, because Musky has a lot of range, as you guys can see. Even though I logged it back, it was still targeting the expo, and he goes for a Valk. That was a bit of a misplay. I think he was maybe panicking a bit, and here I definitely messed up with this knight. This was really bad. Obviously, like I said, when they go minor and they have something coming down, you do want to go. You don't want to be. You do want to be careful, rather, if they have like a Valk or a Dark Prince, something splashing, because Knight will go backwards, and Valk will either splash the Knight and the tower, or just hit the tower in general, because Knight will get pulled back to the miner. So I think here, the best play probably would have been just Knight on top of the Valk, and then maybe Archers for the miner, or uh, let it go. That might have been a lot of damage, though. But yeah, definitely, I was forced to overcommit a lot on that. So that was definitely not ideal. And, I mean, that was just kind of tough. I think I basically lost from that point on because, I mean, I'm not going to come back in this position against a good player. And he does know what he's doing. Here, I wanted to just defensive expo build some momentum in my side so that I could maybe break through because there's no way I was going to spell cycle. And, as you can see, just kind of old habits. Like, I really like spell cycling uh, sometimes. I... I've been watching a lot of Titan, you guys might have seen some of my videos of him, where he went uh, just pure fireball cycle in a lot of matchups, and so I kind of just had one of those moments, and I was like, okay, fireball cycle is optimal, but obviously it's not right here, because I do want to actually get a lock, like, fireballing is not going to do the trick, especially when I'm going opposite lane, so I think this is a really bad fireball, I basically naked fireballed that mortar was dead, so <laughs> that was a big mistake, um, and this was a good night, I was trying to predict the miner, uh, he did go miner in front, so also good job of, on his end, he was switching up minor placements like every Every single time uh but yeah here i try and go in i think i probably should have just fireballed i guess but i don't know i really had to make something happen and at this point i think it was just too far gone there was no coming back from this position because again they have really easy defense like they can just poison your expos out expo is very weak to spells unfortunately so that's just kind of tough and here i got a small lock um which is pretty good but i overcommit a lot as well as you can see i'm down like five right now so even though i got damage i basically lost here i also cycled the log which means guards were pretty good punish on his end and he can just afford to keep doing these aggressive poisons. And, I mean, he caught my Tesla, so yeah. Honestly, that's pretty much it. Don't think there's any point prolonging that any further. But yeah, that was an unfortunate loss. Let's take a, let's take a look at his profile, because I feel like he actually played that really well. Okay, honestly, 
Um, no, like, ladder finishes or anything, but he does have 25 GC wins. Could be a mini count as well. Um, but honestly, yeah, I think this is definitely a mini count, actually. Um, because looking at those stats and everything, and he's a very good player. Like, he played that pretty much as well as he could have. I mean, he was down so much. He came back. I definitely should not have lost that because it was on me for making the mistake. But to his credit, he played very well. And uh, he didn't even have a queen in there. So I respect that. Uh, I would actually probably take a look at Royal API to see if it's like some pros mini or something because he played that very well. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. A bit of a different one today. I'm not even sure what I'll call this one because normally it would always be 12 in Grand Challenge with Expo Cycle. This was a 10 win. So, you know, almost there. But hopefully the loss analysis helped you guys out. I did want to make a video today. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this format. You know, I will obviously try and get more 12 win GCs and everything for you guys. But probably just pretty tired and not playing as well as I could be right now. It's fine though. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next one.